What's up, Samurai? We are back as well. I'm sorry it has been so, so long since we had a proper trove video, but for those of you that have been tuning into my recent live streams, you've noticed that I have been meticulously working at the stupidest quest in the entire game, which is the secret titles quest. So this quest line is going to end up giving you a bunch of different cosmetic items and more importantly will end up giving you two different mounts that give 100 mastery each. I'll show you what each of those mounts is but we're going to end up going through the necessary steps of the quest line. Now when I say it is a secret title quest I mean it is quite literally a secret quest. There is nothing in the game which will track this quest line. It's just something that you gotta kind of keep up here. So make sure that if you do start it, you try your best to finish it because otherwise you don't wanna end up coming back to this like months down the line and not realize where you are in the quest line. So uh, I gotta give big shout outs to the user Abby. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link into the uh, GitHub post, whatever, uh, on the pinned comment so you can follow along with this. Some of the information is not super clear but thankfully i've just recently gone through this quest so i'm gonna do the best that i can uh to let you guys know about this so there is a note right at the top that mentions that all of these steps required for this quest must be done in uber world difficulty so you can't just go to normal adventure worlds you have to get to at the minimum of u1 and up so just keep that in mind uh you also more than likely are going to end up needing a class that has minions or some sort of an attack that you can kind of lay down get on a mount and have the attack kill the enemy because there is a particular part of this quest where you have to kill a dungeon boss while on a mount uh, not that mount on slow Sebastian, but I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. So first of all, the uh, merchant you can see right here, this is the title merchant. Excuse all of the crap around them. I'm actually using a mod that makes them highlighted. And you might have noticed the curse vanity. Now you can interact with the curse vanity so long as you have crafted uh, a, a bunch of the emoji titles. So you're going to have to buy yourself an official uh, Trovian stamp form uh, and then the authorization form or whatever it is. And then you go to this title stamper and then down in additional titles, you can see all of these titles that I have crafted are the ones that you're going to have to have. They're pretty cheap to craft. You, the stamp is going to be a reusable item, so you don't have to keep buying it over and over. You will, however, have to keep buying the authorization forms. And once you end up getting all of these titles unlocked, that'll end up giving you access to the cursed vanity the cursed vanity is going to end up having its own unique title uh, a couple other emoji titles and stuff that i just crafted for the sake of it and more importantly it's going to end up having this quality mask of qm in order to actually craft this when you're crafting titles you'll start getting a bunch of random blueprints uh, one of them being, uh, I don't know if I still have it in my inventory. There it is right there, the quality mask of QM. So you have to get this recipe randomly while crafting titles. You might already have it in your inventory. You consume it and then you'll be able to craft this mask. Now for the next part of the quest and every other part after, which requires all of these different items, I want to let you guys know that you can loot collect this to unlock the style but in order to progress through the quest line you're going to have to specifically have the item equip you can't just have the style unlocked and equip on your character not for vanity you have to have this piece of equipment that you craft out of here step three is you have to complete a dungeon in the permafrost biome while on slow sebastian so this is why using tomb razor is recommended or using draco or a class that has the ability to kill bosses while being on a mount that's kind of the big important thing here is because you have to be on the mount when the dun dungeon boss gets destroyed uh you won't be able to go to permafrost just right here you're gonna have to specifically go to uber and up and then find a permafrost biome so just keep that in mind uh when you end up completing the dungeons you'll end up having an item drop out of a unique chest so the unique chest can end up randomly popping up and then you'll end up getting the recipe for the hatastic hat so this 
step uh, uh, you know, of completing the dungeons can be repeated once per minute to have an additional chest spawn. Each also has a chance to grant a random title, which is uh, there's going to end up being four different titles that you can end up obtaining through this. There's no reason to do that. It's not like titles give mastery or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but you'll end up having this uh, hat recipe unlocked. Now, this next part of the quest is going to end up being a bit tedious where you have to refer to the chart that I'm going to put on the screen right now to determine the correct biome and title needed to complete the next step. So this is essentially going to be where you can craft this hat. OK, so you have to craft it at a cursed vanity, which you can craft the cursed vanity table, put it into your cornerstone in the respective biome for that specific day so that you can go into that biome, use this table and then craft the hat. OK, I, I know that it's a pretty uh, arduous process, but either way, step six is to go into that Uber biome uh, and complete dungeons while on slow Sebastian. And if done correctly, there is a five percent chance a chest will spawn that will give you the recipe staff of influence. Keep in mind that at this point, you're going to have to have both the face hat and slow Sebastian equipped. So of course, next you have to craft the staff itself and then you have to equip it to your character. Another reason why the Tomb Razor is going to be ideal. And then this is where the time gated part of the quest will end up coming into play because now you have to wait for the weekend. So for the weekend, there's going to end up being a NPC, which is essentially this guy right here. That's why this uh, quest icon is around this guy. So this dude uh, is going to end up spawning in a specific biome for that week. Now, how do you determine where he actually shows up? Well, if you kind of look around the uh, the titles uh, vehicle and stuff like that, you can end up seeing uh, a prop item that is going to end up giving you a hint. And for the time that I'm recording this, this is the hint right here, this little volcano. This is the prop item that shows that he would end up being in the volcanic biome if I was doing this over the weekend. So just keep in mind that you got to look around the title area. I don't know if it's always going to end up being in this location or just random locations, but keep in mind the items that you already see prior. It is specifically a prop item that is related to the specific biome and then just you don't gotta complete dungeons or anything like that. You are going to have to have all of the items equipped, Trove Crest. But when you end up having all of the items equipped, you can see that merchant. Uh, uh, again, Solo Sebastian still has to be equipped as well. Uh, and you'll essentially go and interact with him. He only shows up during the weekend though, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you'll end up crafting an ally at him, which is gonna be the questioning Marquitos right here, uh, which, you know, gives you a little bit of mastery, okay, well, whatever cool and then keep in mind that you again still have to be on the weekend for the next part which is during the weekend go to the hub and speak to marcus yabara which is going to end up being the titles merchant that will be there during the weekend and when you end up interacting with him while you have all of these items equipped and the ally equip uh it should just automatically end up giving you the first mount which is going to end up being the stylish uh, recreationer or, or something like that. This one right here. So it's going to end up being this car. So you'll get this. It's going to give you a hundred mastery. And it's also just hilarious. Like I, I really like this mount. I just think that it looks so ridiculous and stupid. And the fact that we just have like a normal beat up old car that looks like a Simpsons car. Honestly, I, I, I think it's really cool. Now the next part of the quest, <laughs> you have to, uh, do this part during a weekday. So that's why this entire quest will ultimately take you a little over uh, a little over a week or just a weekend if you can start it quick enough, because if you can start it on uh, like, say, you know, Thursday or Friday or something and then complete the weekend part and then go into next week. Well, there you go. So anyways, when the next week rolls over, that's where you're going to have to once again try and find the specific biome uh, that you need. And at which point you have to have all of the items equipped, including Slow Sebastian. I just want to hammer that home. Don't use this mount just because it looks cool. And then while completing dungeons in that specific biome, you have a 0.4% drop chance for a chest to spawn that will ultimately end up giving you the next 
mount, which is the last part of the quest line, which is going to be the RV Max, which is the same car, uh, but it is a gliding version. So it is going to end up giving you mastery. Now, the limited amount of reports that I heard from you guys while I was doing this all on stream was that it's it being a 0.4% chance it's varying. Uh, I was actually very fortunate and able to get this mount on my second stream. I was still under two hours in total for grinding, maybe like an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes, then I ended up getting this. Uh, but some of you reported that it took you like nine hours or six hours or something, because again, it's a very low drop chance and you have to complete the dungeon while on slow Sebastian. So once again, you're kind of stuck using a character that uses minions. Uh, you know, Tomb Raider, of course, being the easiest because you basically just summon your minions, get on your mount, let them do the busy work. They'll end up killing it. And well, there you go. So that's going to end up being the final part of the quest line. Uh, however, this mount you can actually get the chest to spawn more uh, and it can end up uh, spawning more of the mount, which can be loot collected to receive a random grandiose title of which there are four in total to obtain. If you really care about the titles, I know most people don't, or at least I don't, uh, but it's entirely up to you. Anyways, hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. Uh, I, I wanted to have a definitive tutorial on this because of the fact that it's so convoluted and stupid uh <laughs> and uh regardless i hope that you enjoyed and uh, i would appreciate if you smash like sub for more buy the merch you want to support the channel and have a wonderful day everybody